Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button. And behold, a white horse. He that sat on it had a bow and a crown was given to him and he went out conquering and to conquer. Some have mistakenly thought this is a reference to Jesus Christ. That's because in Revelation 19, we read of him returning on a white horse. But this is not Jesus Christ. This is Antichrist. You say, but Greg, why is he riding a white horse? Because that's exactly what Antichrist is. He's a pretender. He's an imitator. The prefix anti not only means against, it also means instead of. So Antichrist emerges on the scene. He's not going to be dressed head to toe in black, think the devil wears Prada. He's not gonna have steam rising off of him with his own Darth Vader theme song playing behind him wherever he goes. No, he's gonna come off like a man of peace. He's instead of Christ. In fact, you might be surprised to know that initially he emerges on the scene with a peace treaty. Uh, we're told in Daniel 8, 25, through peace he will deceive many. Antichrist will do what no one has ever been able to do. He'll, rid, uh, he'll solve the Middle East peace puzzle and rid the world of terrorism. No one has pulled that off. No one has even come close. Antichrist will pull it off for three and a half years. And listen to this. He'll win the hearts of many of the Jewish people by rebuilding their long-awaited temple. But it's all part of a plan, a wicked plan 